everyone this is a podcast and i tell one shot i hope you will love it kim tang is a popular singer with the wealthiest parents of korea selling out concert weekly and dealing with fans around the world might sound fun but tang loved it even more than when his parting all night long someone's baby in the middle of the hang so he escaped with his boyfriend yuk to go to the biggest island party ever he but he when he pulled over to a helicopter pad the hang's excitement turned into a panic the hang i thought we were gonna I thought we were gonna use a yacht. You know, I have a phobia of heights, right? You could say five minutes, right? You are just being melodramatic. Get over it. Then get over it. Enjoy the party without me. Then you baby, come on. I didn't mean it. I am sorry. Then just ignore him and storm out. As they walked back to the city, he noticed a person in a hoodie jacket following him. He grabbed his stiletto and yelled at the guy, Why are you hiding? Dude, are you scared? Don't worry, I don't bite. Then said, but to his surprise, the guy just threw a magazine at him and ran away with the chocolate fudge. What the chocolate fudge? Tehang said and picked it up and realizing that it was his magazine with a death threat drawn all over Tehang's face. The threats keep coming over the weekend. Tehang's parents had always wanted to hire a bodyguard for him but he didn't want some boring old guy to keep following him around. But this time his parents wouldn't take no for an answer. When Thayang finally saw his bodyguard, he almost passed out. His bodyguard was almost handsome of a, was most handsome of a man he has ever seen and he looked just five years older than Thayang. Hey handsome, are you sure you are a bodyguard and not my Next boyfriend, Thayang said, but to his surprise, Jung didn't smile a bit, rude. You look too young for this job, how can I trust you, Thayang said, and suddenly a ball from their neighbor came trolling right at him, and Jung instantly catch it with his one hand. Trust me, I'm really good at my job. You can check my records. Your father has everything you need, Jungkook said. Yeah, okay, whatever, let's go. Jungkook opened the car door for him as Thayang slipped in. He accidentally bruised his shoulder on Jungkook's chest and Thayang pissed on into it as he felt Jungkook's chest and it felt harder than a rock. When they arrived at his school, Hugh didn't look at Looked so happy to see Thayang with his bodyguard. He pulled Thayang aside and said, Look, baby, I know I insulted you and the other night, but getting back at me by flirting with another man, how could you? He is my freaking boyfriend. I'm still mad at you for what you have done, and now you are accusing me. Of cheating, Thayang said, and suddenly Jungkook stepped in and said, Is there a problem here, Mr. Kim? Stay out of this man, Thayang. Hugh said and tried to push Jungkook aside, but Jungkook punched him on, punch on him and pinned him to the ground. What the heck are you doing? Let's go. Of me, idiot, Hugh said while struggling. Hey, stop it. Thayang shouted at them and finally Jungkook released his boyfriend after a minute. 
as expected Hugh went on to then immediately blocked him before he got his butt kicked by Jungkook. Thinking that's enough, Hugh. He is just doing his job. Hugh, why do you need a bodyguard when you have me? I'm your boyfriend. I will protect you. A small spider suddenly landed on Hugh's shoulder, and he ran screaming. Protect my bot, Thang said while watching Hugh running away. As them walk down the hall with Jungkook, girls were literally drooling all over Jungkook. Girl one, he looks more like a mood than a bodyguard. He can be the father of my children. Girl two, he is way more attractive than Hugh. Girl three, I really want to feel. His biceps. These girls sounded so desperate, but they were right when they hung reached the classroom. His best friend Jimin came up to him with his favorite coffee. Hey, Thaham, hi. So I brought you your. Before Jimin can complete the sentence, Jungkook suddenly snatched it and started sniffing it. Jungkook then took a sip and waited for a few seconds before saying clear as he gave it back to Thang and Jimin was glaring at Jungkook. Jimin, excuse me, did you really think that I will poison my best friend? Jungkook is just doing my job. Jimin then dragged Thang to the corner and said, so you are giving up your privacy just like that? I can see that he is very attractive, but something about him is screaming bad news. He even sounds like a demon. You have to get rid of him, apps. Oh, come on, Jimin. He is just, he is just his first thing said and think that Jimin was right because they didn't have a Second of Christ, Jungkook followed him around every freaking second. He stood behind him in all the all of his classes and even in restroom it was awkward. At home he would just stand outside Thang's door and Thang never saw Jungkook asleep. And worse, he had his permanent high school expression on his face. That gave Thang chills. Thang had a recording event one night and he had reached the studio. A guy came rushing towards him. The guy was about to draw something out something from his back pocket when Jungkook suddenly grabbed his arm and twisted it and said, Drop your weapon. What? I, I was just wanted to. An autograph from him, man. Jungkook let go of the poor guy and Thang felt so embarrassed. Thang, what's the matter with you, Jian? I'm a popular singer, so you have to get used to my fans. Jungkook's just doing my, do- my job. Come down, Thang, come down. Thang said to himself, he feels so annoyed by Jungkook's behavior. The next day at school, Hugh kept following Thang around to apologize, but Thang still ignored him until Hugh said, My producer cousin is throwing an exclusive yacht party with some airliners this weekend. She is a fan of yours and she would be ecstatic if you came. Thang gave him all attention now to him as Thang knows that Hughes definitely knows how to that parties were his weakness. Not so fast, sweetheart, hang out with me tomorrow. Hugh said while wishing winking his eyes okay fine as Thang said that Hugh requested not to bring Jungkook to their date tomorrow so Thang talked to him in privately my job is not to leave your side for a minute, so sorry. Can't do this, Mr. Kim. Jungkook was so firm about this, so they have had to finally give up and let him come with them. They were. They went to the private movie theater and watched a 
super sad movie together minutes into the movie hook and them were already crying their hearts out while jungkook did not react at all what was he a robot thing said to himself and back to his attention to the movie they were watching after the movie they went to a fancy restaurant and thing had was having a good time with the Love started until Hyuk he started forcing him himself on him Hyuk just one kiss baby come on Thing not no Hyuk we are in public place and people are staring but Hyuk was persisting just then Jungkook Hyuk was persisting just then Jungkook grabbed Hyuk and threw him away like a piece of paper Jung Hyuk was furious. He grabbed a chair, but before he could hit Jungkook with it, Thaehyung pushed him away and said, "Stop it right now! Your stupid boyfriend started it. Why don't you tell him to get a life and go home to his mommy?" Hyuk said while wiping the blood on his lips. "No, Hyuk, you go home." Thaehyung said it and immediately called with a. him a cab and when hyuk was finally gone thaehyung turned to jungkook and really thaehyung i know he was being a jerk but i can handle my personal life you don't have to interfere every freaking second jian jungkook jungkook he was disrespecting your personal space mr kim thaehyung your job is to keep me safe not to meddle in my personal matters No, your boundaries, Mr. John. Jungkook replies, "It will never happen again." Thaehyung actually don't mind that you got the dressing he deserved, but Jungkook always being around was just getting on his nerves. A few days later, at a concert, Thaehyung was performing his newest single, and everyone was singing along with him. He felt amazing. Some of them even started climbing up on the stage to join him. Suddenly, Jungkook jumped in and pushed them off the stage. What in the world? Thaehyung said. But Jungkook just left him and carried Thaehyung to the back stage. Thaehyung was completely angry at Jungkook. He can't understand why Jungkook would do that in the middle of his freaking performance. He finally had enough. Hey, hug my parents are paying you to protect me not to annoy me and screw up my concerts joke of your life was in danger mr kim you have to treat everyone as and me hey hug that's ridiculous whoever sends those stupid threats is probably just some harmless loser joke better to save than sorry thing complained to his parents about joke's behavior but they praise him for it it but he is running my career and even my personal life mom he is just doing his job honey and that's to make sure you are safe at all the time thank can't believe it so he did it to jimin instant and jimin came with a plan jimin test his patience and i him do everything you can to make him quiet make him quit You are good at that. You are gorgeous, but thank I love it. It sounds good. You are the best, Jimin. Of course, I am. So everyone, what do you think? What will happen in the next episode? Let's see. In the next episode, and that is going to be the last episode of this one. So I hope you will love it. Bye bye. Bye.